Hello and welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So I hope our thumbnail will get to know about the topic of today's video. In this video, I am going to discuss about that what you should prepare before joining into MTech curriculum in different IITs and ISC. So I hope by now you all have applied to different IITs and ISC for your MTech and many of you have already received their first offer letter in the first round of COPE result because the COPE result is up. The first round is up when I am shooting this video. And I have seen in many social media places like Twitter and LinkedIn, many of you have already received your, you know, dream institution in the first round. So first of all, big congratulations for all of you who have already received their uh, dream institute in the, in the first round of co. Whoever haven't received their dream institutions, you have to wait. You have to hold whatever choice you're getting in the first round of co. And you have to wait for a few more rounds. Uh, hopefully, you'll be getting a better institution in the upcoming uh, co. rounds. Uh, but, the, but the but the point that I'm going to discuss in this particular video is that, you know, your job is done. You have already applied to different IITs and ISC and you have given a written test interview. So your job is done. Now, either you have to accept whatever offer you're getting or you have to wait for the subsequent round. But whatever two months is left, uh, you know, before joining into MTech in different IITs and ISC, these two months is very crucial. And if you utilize these two months well, your life in IITs and ISC will be a bit, a bit easier. And what you should prepare for in these two months, that I'm going to discuss in this particular video. So whatever these five, six things I'll be talking about in this particular video, if you prepare for these topics, it will be helpful for you to, you know, attend the classes, study different courses in IIT or ISC. So that will be the topic of today's video. If you're interested, if you want to know detail about it, please stay tuned in this video till end. And before starting the video, as you always say, if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. I am already close to 10,000 subscribers, so please, please, please subscribe. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, uh, so that if you like the video, uh, my video will get more and more reach. Without further delay, let's start into today's video. The first thing I would recommend you to prepare before joining MTech in IIT and ISC is how to prove an algorithm. So if you're planning to join MTech in CSC, AI, CDS or related areas in different IITs and ISC, at least one algorithm course you'll be creating during your MTech curriculum. In most of the IITs, you know, this is a this is a mandatory course that you have to take. In ISC Bangalore, it's not mandatory, but I have seen most of the people used to take an algorithm course or a data structure course. Now, the problem is that, you know, in your gate preparation, during your gate preparation, probably you have read the algorithm. And you have solved different questions related to the algorithm. So you haven't focused that much into the proof part, that how you have to prove an algorithm as a correct algorithm. So this is called proof of correctness uh, in, in algorithmic terms. Now in IITs and IISC, the major focus on our algorithm force is that you have to, how you will prove this proof of correctness of an algorithm that you are asking for. So I remember during my time in the algorithm force, for writing an algorithm, uh, two marks was given. Uh, for proving their correctness, 8 marks was given. So, the total marks is 10 marks. 2 marks is for writing the algorithm and 8 marks is how you will prove that particular algorithm. So, there is a difficulty because, you know, proofing algorithm is not that much trivial. There is a pattern, there is a, uh, there is a way you have to write it in a proper way. Like, if you prove it by contradiction, then there is a way to write. If you are proofing by induction, there is a way to write. So, you have to learn it and you have to practice it so that in the exam, when a new algorithm will come, not only you can write the algorithm, at the same time you can prove the algorithm as well. So that's why I would recommend you that whatever algorithm you have studied during your gate preparation, please you go back and have a look into their proof of correctness in, in, in the standard textbook. And try to understand that how those algorithms are proved as a correct algorithm in, in, in a standard book. So that will give you an idea that how to write this proof of correctness of any algorithm. So this is number one and this is very, very important because I have seen during my time and even later batches also that many people actually struggle in this part. They are very well to write the algorithm but they can't write the proof of correctness in a proper way so that they can get the full marks out of the uh, 10 which is uh, typically being allotted in any algorithm course. So that's why this is the first important thing. That this is the first thing that you have to go through that how to write a proof of correctness for any algorithm. Next is linear algebra and probability. Don't forget to read about linear algebra topics and probability topics before joining MTech in different IITs and ISC. Why I am saying this? Because during your MTech curriculum, you will at least take one machine learning course, if not more. Now it is all the students are crazy about machine learning. They are creating a lot of machine learning related courses during their MTech curriculum and they have a dream to become data scientist. Now, linear algebra probability is the prerequisite for machine learning courses. Now, if you are planning to join IITs for your MTech curriculum, 
you must study in detail linear algebra probability because you won't be having any prerequisite courses during your MTech curriculum in different IITs. In different IITs, in the first semester itself, you'll be thrown directly to machine learning courses. And in those machine learning courses, you will really struggle uh, without any prior knowledge on linear algebra and probability. I'm not saying whatever knowledge you have during your gate preparation, you have to study it in details. You should have a, you know, kind of basic understanding or kind of a sense of linear algebra terms and probability terms. Like suppose uh, if the instructor say there is a distribution, you should have a visualization about it. Or if, if the instructor say there is a vector space, you should have a visualization and, and some sense of it. So that's why do study linear algebra probability if you are planning to join IITs for your MD. Within the first semester itself, you will be taking a basic machine learning course and there will be no prerequisite of linear algebra probability in any IITs during the MD curriculum. As far as I know, uh, in top five IITs, there is no prerequisite courses available in the first semester itself. You will be taking a machine learning course. Now, if you are planning to join ISC Bangalore, it's the good thing about ISC Bangalore is that in the first semester, you will be given enough time to prepare for uh, to study these different uh, prerequisite courses, the linear algebra, probability, optimization courses. So that's an advantage for you. But still, you know, those are very advanced level linear algebra, probability, optimization courses. So that's it's again, I, I recommend you people also that do study linear algebra, probability prior to join ISC Bangalore for your curriculum. The next important thing to study is the basics of machine learning. So as I was mentioning before that if you are joining IITs and ISC for your MTEC curriculum in MTEC CSEA or CDS, very high likely that you'll be creating few courses on machine learning. So that's why studying basics of machine learning is always helpful for you because, you know, when in the first semester itself, you will be creating some courses on machine learning, maybe the basics of machine learning or some pattern recognition course. Then, you know, if you know few terms about machine learning before going to that class, that is always helpful for you. Because remember one thing that in IITs, your classmates will be PhD students and BTEC students who already have a lot of exposure on machine learning basics they probably had taken a, a few courses on machine learning. So if you have a basic understanding of machine learning, it's always helpful. Now, which resource to follow for this one? Uh, there are a lot of courses available, like Andrew Ng course in Stanford. Uh, his Coursera course is also very fam you know, famous for uh, for the beginners. So that's why any of these courses you can you can take up and just have a, have a, have a look and just try to you know go through different topics. You shouldn't be worried if you are not able to understand completely all these topics because all these topics you'll be taught during your MTech curriculum in different courses. But what I'm trying to say is that at least know the terms, like what is a classification, what is a regression problem, uh, you know, what are different algorithms like logistic regression, SBM, support vector matrix. So if you at least know these terms and the basic of these terms, that will always be helpful for you. The next thing that you have to prepare for before joining IITs and ISC for your MTech curriculum is Python programming languages. So if you're someone who is not comfortable doing coding in Python programming languages, this is the time for you. This is this two and a half months what is left. Try to do coding in Python programming language and try to uh, be comfortable as much as possible because in your MTech days and after that you'll be joining industry, a Python is everywhere, specifically if you are aiming to be a data scientist, if you are planning to create a lot of machine learning related courses during your MTech curriculum, in every course Python will be needed because in every course there will be a lot of coding assignments, a lot of projects will be there where you have to do a lot of uh, coding related to machine learning, like you have to design the models for machine learning there, Python programming language will be very much needed. And Try to complete Python programming language as, as early as possible. Try to be comfortable as early as possible because after that, you have to learn different other frameworks like Py, PyTorch or TensorFlow, which is uh, dedicated frameworks for doing machine learning modeling. So these are the things you have to do uh, during your MTech curriculum. So no need to worry about those frameworks. Try to, you know, do coding in Python and try to be comfortable with Python as much as possible because that will be sufficient for you. Uh, so if you know this much before joining MTech, MTech in IITs and ISC, that will be sufficient. During MTech, you will you will learn the advanced level things like those frameworks or there are other things as well. Final thing I would recommend you to practice is coding. Uh, so many people I know, they have done well in gate exam, but they are not very good in competitive coding. And they struggle a lot during their MTech day, specifically during the campusing time, uh, on-campus placement time, because you know, that time, you know, every company comes up and they have a coding round and these people who are not that much comfortable in coding, they, they struggle a lot. So that's why if you are someone who haven't done a lot of coding during your undergraduate day, or maybe you are not comfortable doing coding, 
Uh, you can start doing competitive coding from different resources that is available. Nowadays, there are a lot of open source websites that is available. Elite code is there, Geeks for Geeks is there. Uh, try to solve DSA related data structure algorithm related uh, problems from there uh, using using any programming languages. As I mentioned, that Python will be helpful for you because uh, Python, if you have to prepare also for your MTech curriculum and if you practice doing uh, you know data structure algorithm or competitive coding using Python also, that will also helpful. So you can choose Python as your programming language and try to solve those data structure algorithm related uh, problems. You can start with easy problems. If you are not that much comfortable, then move to uh, the medium, medium level problems. And finally, you can excel up to the hard or uh, advanced level problems. But uh, you know, competitive coding is something that, that you have to take it seriously now if you haven't done that much during your uh, gate preparation days or undergraduate days. Because during placement time, on-campus placement time, your competitive coding school skill will be really, really helpful. And in IITs, there is a huge culture of doing coding. But in ISC Bangalore, if you're planning to join ISC Bangalore, nobody will force you to do coding because there is no such culture of doing coding in ISC Bangalore. So it's your responsibility how you will prepare for competitive coding. You have almost two years in your hand. During your placement, your competitive coding skill will be needed. So you have time. Start as early as possible so that you can, you can, uh, rectify your mistakes. You can you can practice as much as possible, and you can do well during your placement days. So yeah, that's it, guys. That's it about this video. I hope this video will be helpful for all those students who are planning to join different IITs and ISC this time for their MTech admission. And please, I know do consider preparing these things which I have told you. This is from my personal experiences. I have seen that I really struggled because I didn't prepare any of these things. So in the first semester, I really struggled in algorithms. Really struggled in uh, Python coding. So we had a linear algebra probability course, so I didn't struggle that much there. But, uh, you know, Python, uh, it took me some time to, you know, kind of catch up. Because I didn't have any prior experience uh, during joining of ISC Bangalore regarding regarding Python programming languages. And algorithm, I struggled a lot. Uh, so that's why I'm telling that do consider these things and uh, prepare as much as possible before joining your MTech. So that's it about this video. If you like this video, please like it and share this video to other people. And if you're new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that when I upload this kind of videos, you'll get a notification. That's it about this video. I'll meet you in the next video. Until then, bye.